Now let's take a scenario which is very very common and you might have to do this almost for all the requirements. It's very simple and it can also be asked during the interview process which is how do you load the null values into your target or how do you identify the null records from your source and move it into the exception table which is also another target from Informatica's point of view. It can either go into your target which is your staging, data warehouse or landing whatever you term it or it can go into your error record table or exception management table however it works however it is designed in your project. For this, we'll take our employee table as the example and notice we have null values here for manager and null values here for commission. The rest of the data is already there. So wherever there is data, it will get processed. Wherever there is null, it will not be processed or it will be moved into a separate target which will be actioned upon by the business users or it follows the exception management criteria. Now, what is the exception management criteria? How does it work? What are the best practices? How should you design it? All that I have clearly explained with the architecture, with the different steps, with the data model in ETL framework for any data warehouse environment. If you're already part of that course, you would remember it. If not, you can enroll into that and learn the different, learn the different aspects of exception handling. Before we proceed, we'll not consider the manager attribute null here because that's the precedent, right? As for the org hierarchy in your enterprise, there is nobody above precedent or at least in this scenario. In real time, there might be, there is a board, there are board members, etc. But in this, let's ignore that and let's take only the commission part of it. So we go to the mapping designer, mappings, create. And I've named the mapping as M underscore commission null check. Okay. Click OK. I'll go to my connection here, which is Oracle. Get the employee source, drag and drop. Okay. Let me close this navigation here. And let's get an expression transformation. Okay. Select all the attributes from your source qualifier to expression transformation. All right. Here we will add a flag specific to commission. So I'll double click, open the expression, click on the last one, click on new, create a field called output underscore null check. Now you can leave it as string if you want to use the values y or n which is nothing but yes or no if you want to use 1 and 0 then you change it to the integer i'll leave it to the string right now and we'll make that as an output port and we will use the yes and no mechanism here here we'll write that logic of if is null of go to the ports select commission close it then yes else no validate that is right Click OK, apply, OK. Now you get a router transformation. Select everything from here, put it in your router. Now we'll go to the groups here, create two groups. Let's call it as is null. The other is is not null. And in the group condition, you'll take the output port null check is equal to Y. I'll copy that, click OK, paste it here, and make that to N. Apply, OK. Right, so you have two groups. One is the is null, the other is is not null. Obviously, you'll have the default group anyways. Now, from here, you'll connect it to your target. So, let's see the target here. Okay, I have a TGT employee FF, which is the flat file. So I'll drag and drop it to the mapping. Drop it here and then use auto link. Use the output is null port. Select the target. Apply now. Well, it didn't work because router has a suffix. So click more. 
front transformation is one apply now that is done so let me rename this underscore null apply okay i'll get the same instance again double click rename underscore not null click ok apply ok right click auto link router is not null more suffix is 3 target is not null apply now click ok so that is the process of identifying the nulls from a particular column and notice we have moved to different targets now the null here can be your error table or your exception table when it comes to the error or exception you just do not move the records into that target but you will also have additional attributes to determine like what is the error id what is the error message what is the probable action which should be taken towards it and if there is an owner which you want to assign to them that also will be there how will you get these information all these information it will be there in your error data model which can be used as a reference table now this error table will be used or maintained by the business along with the data architect now that's a very simple strategy all we did is use the expression transformation here to do the null check hope it is clear we will run this to check the data but let's also consider a scenario where not only commission there is a new record record number 15 with employee number let's say 9999 and employee name is missing job is available manager is missing so you also want to consider all the missing elements not only for null then how would you do that it will be the same mechanism but you would extend your overall logic how do you do it you call this as o null check so let's expand that now we did the null check for only the commission part let's leave it on the top and let's start a new one so if is null of let's go with the first port you go to the ports here employee number okay or is null of second port e name or is null of job or is null of we leave the manager for now is null of hire date or is null of sale or is null of commission or is null of department number we close the bracket then you use yes or you use no so this will become your logic when you want to do it for all the attributes validate okay there is a syntax error i think it's because we missed another open bracket on the top so the first one is closed here the second one is closed here validate that's successful so this is how you can add multiple columns into it right now here we took an or condition now based on your requirement you'd use and condition as well right so let me save this i did a control s and that is valid so now going back to the database here there is a possibility of manager attribute also being null for the new records for the new employee records but i should not consider precedence record because precedent will be null so how do you do that how do you add that to your logic here so if you go back to the expression we did not add anything for manager at all change it a bit here and we'll put or i'll open a bracket is null of manager and job here we are saying job not equal to precedent so wherever the job is not equal to precedent and if manager is null then you would consider is y else it is a n okay so you have added that logic of having all the scenarios accomplished 
based on the current data which you have right apply okay arrange your iconic so that is your simple mapping of how do you do the null checks so now let's quickly generate a workflow next yeah we'll use the oracle there click next next finish go to the workflow manager workflows com null check open file parent is already checked i'll quickly check the connections here that is fine target names are also fine and just add the field names for both of them apply okay Control S, start workflow. Okay, that is succeed. So if you see the targets here, not null, you have four null, you have 10 of them. So as part of the commission value here, one, two, three, four are not null, rest all of them are null values. You can add more records to it, run the scenario, verify how it looks. But that is a scenario where you can split your null values into different targets.